Syndications is a great model. They use it for apartments. Anybody know what the kind of the most famous syndication is right now in the, uh, in the United States? It, it goes back, but the Empire State Building was a syndication. I think the lowest contribution was like $10,000. But all it is is just pooling money together. Um, you have a group of uh, general partners that own it, that manage the deal, they operate the deal, and then you have limited partners who are the investors that bring money into the deal and they get a return. Um, they get a preferred return, they get, a, they get equity on the backside whenever they sell, whenever you refinance. That's all the syndication is. You have a group of guys that come together, they operate the deal, they find the deal, they get to find the financing. They may have a key sponsor that has the net worth that can sign, sign on the deal because of the value of the, the apartment or the commercial building. That's usually what you're going to buy, syndication, stuff that costs a lot more money. And then you just pull in investors' money. And um, you have an operating agreement. You have a subscription agreement on like, hey, this is, this is what's going on. You have a private placement memorandum that lays out all the risk for the deal, what could go wrong, what could happen, what's the expectations for the deal. And, you go into a lot of times this is reserved for like accredited investors, sophisticated investors that have like a net worth of a million dollars or they make at least $250,000 a year. And so, um, but a lot of things have changed over time, over the last few years. Uh, I think it was uh, Obama passed a law in 20, I think it was 2013 when the law passed with the, with the blue skies law, but it allows you where people can like, you see people raise money on social media now, uh, you, can, you can get in a deal for like 5000 you can do like crowdfunding, those type of things. It's all syndication where you pool money together to buy assets and operate. One of the big things with that, you got to know your operator. Make sure that the person that, that's operating, that's doing the deal, that's sponsoring the deal, they know what they're doing, they got a track record. Do your due diligence um, before you give your money to anybody. Make sure that the person knows what they're doing, they have experience in that area, and they have a business plan and that yeah, that you, that you feel comfortable with it. Because a lot of the syndications, when I look at deals that people are looking like, hey, I want you to partner with me, put money in my deal, it's like, uh, I don't know. Because it's, it all comes down to the individual, how much faith in the, do you have in the individual to be able to operate? Have they done it before? Um, and, and have they been successful at it? So that's the way to do it. I love joint ventures, where it's that you just pool your money with a small amount of people, and uh, everybody has a role in the company, and it's four or five people. Usually syndication, you may have anywhere from 20 or 30 people, or you may have hundreds of people, just depending on how big the deal is. Uh, one of the strategies that we leverage, we look at like apartments, 40 units and below, and we just align with, hey, four or five people that want to hold long term, that like cash flow. We'll refinance and get like half our money back in two or three years, and then we'll continue to get like an 8 to 10% return on our money going in the future and then you know five ten years from now we'll refinance again and based on our ownership everybody else another we'll get another big check and we'll continue to get our cash flow as we own it as rents go up and uh and reinvest some money in the property over time so joint ventures is a great great way to to build wealth too